We've moved up to the bridge and uh, you can see that it's pretty devastated up here. It, you can see that the corner, uh, there's like a wooden baseboard there. That would have been the outline of the wheelhouse. As I come around here to the left, you can see us down below on the forward well deck. That's our light down there where the mirror is. Right in front of us is about the only thing that's still really recognizable on the bridge. And that's called the, uh, the telemotor. I'll get in a little closer on that. What happened here uh, was that as the ship plunged, as, the, as the, uh, the bow section went down, it went down so fast. There, you can see our mirror now, just down below on the, on the well deck. The, the uh, ship went down so fast that the, uh, the currents of water flowing over it snapped the, the guy wires that hold the mast and it f fell back and hit right here on the bridge and it shattered the, the uh, face of the wheelhouse and the flow of water just tore it all off. So there's, there's not a whole lot left here. It's very, very hard to imagine what this would have looked like. Maybe you guys have some images up there that you can show people what it might have looked like on the day. Uh, but there's something to me very eerie and, and I don't know, kind of moving about this one lone monument. The rest of the, the whole superstructure is just stripped away here, and the only thing remaining is this, this one monument. Here, I'll put a little light on it so you can see the natural color. And it's made out of bronze. The ship's wheel would have mounted right in that kind of little hole right there. And, and you know, Gilligan is now pretty much standing right where Quartermaster Hitchens was when he was standing at the, at the ship's wheel, keeping a, a straight and steady course for New York. And he you know, unexpectedly heard three sharp rings of the crow's nest bell and that crow's nest would have been, you know, out there in the darkness someplace ahead of him from where, where you'd stand here on the bridge. And then when the crow's nest uh, guys called, when Frederick Fleet called in, Sixth Officer Moody would have answered the phone right, uh, right over here against that wall. You know, what he heard was Frederick Fleet saying, iceberg right ahead. Yes, what you see? Iceberg, right ahead! Thank you. First Officer Murdoch, who, who was the officer of the watch, I don't think he waited for the, for the telephone to ring when the, when the Crow's Nest guys called the bridge. I think he already knew what was going on. I think he was already in motion. He would have come running in a door that was right over here, right where that big tangle of wires is. He would have run in and yelled, probably at the top of his lungs, at least I would have, hard as starboard. Hitchens says, hard as starboard eye, and he starts cranking that big old ship's wheel over. And boy, it many, many turns. It was a lot of hard work for him to get that rudder hard over. Auto. And, you know, seconds counted so much. And, you know, Murdoch looked out front and saw an iceberg right square in their path. And he had to decide, do I go left or do I go right, you know? And it's not clear whether any decision would have been the right one at that point. I actually think Murdoch was a pretty cool guy. And uh, I think he had a... He, he, he bore the burden of all that uh, for the next, you know, two hours and 40 minutes of his life, which was, were the last moments of his life. And he, uh, he gave his life trying to save people. Uh, when we were making the, the movie, I had a choice to make. I could, I could do it historically correctly, or I could do um, what people would think was correct. In fact, it was historically correct for a uh, hardest starboard order to the helmsman to turn the ship to port to the left. Uh, that was just the way it was in those days. They were called tiller commands and by starboarding the tiller you ported the rudder and you turned to port. So the hardest starboard command actually turned the ship to port. So a lot of people thought they were they were pretty nautical and sent me a lot of letters. You can stop sending the letters. I'm trying to set the record straight right now. We did it right.